We've discussed the different functional types of mines, but each type can also be deployed in one of three ways, either by aircraft, submarine, or surface laying. Aircraft-laid mines are typically designed to be offensive in nature and are suited for rapid deployment, similar to bombs. Aircraft can be used to rapidly provide minefield replenishment without having to send vulnerable ships to the front lines and put them in danger from previously laid mines. Today, aircraft are seen as an ideal mine delivery technique, as the process requires little overall risk and can be done quickly. Essentially, any aircraft that can carry and deploy bombs can also carry and deploy mines. Submarine-laid mines, like aircraft-laid mines, are typically used in offensive covert operations. These types of mines will fit in submarine torpedo tubes and can be deployed at depth. Typically, submarines can only hold a small number of mines, which makes this technique not the best suited for laying large minefields. During World War II, submarines planted a total of 576 mines that we know about, which directly resulted in the sinking of 27 ships and the damage of another 27. Surface-laid mines, or mines laid from ships, are the most economical due to the sheer volume of mines that can be transported on any given ship. However, surface-laying mines requires that the laying country has control of the waters and there's no potential imminent threats, like a previously laid minefield. This is not the case in many modern circumstances, which often leads to submarines and aircraft to be more preferred mine delivery techniques. Surface laying is typically used in defensive situations, like defending your harbors. In World War II, this was a very common practice. While there were no documented cases of these defensive minefields taking enemy casualties, there's also no documented cases of enemy vessels getting through the minefields. This underscores one of mine's most essential qualities, their ability to scare off enemies without active engagement, a psychological weapon.